Hello, good morning. Hi everybody. Happy Saturday morning. Um, I wasn't planning to stream today, but um, things got a little rearranged as to my plans for today, which is fine. And so I figured I would take this free time. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh yeah. I figured I'd take this free time to uh, start on Labyrinth of Lies since um, I only have two games left in the series to complete on stream and um, I really love Labyrinth of Lies so I figured that I would go ahead and take this time to uh, get started on that. So hello to everybody who is here. Um, I know that I, haven't had, I don't have any chatters yet but that's okay. Uh, if you guys just want to hang out and lurk a little bit that's cool with me. Um, so but without further ado I'm going to go ahead and get us going. Oh, hang on one sec for me. Options windowed. Cut it's the locked. Sound down. It's locked. It's locked. Hello, there we go. Let me rearrange my screen a little bit. My apologies. All right. <coughs> cool. Boop. All right. <coughs> Hopefully that's a pretty good level. It's locked. It's locked. I think that should be okay. Hello, Tom. How are you this morning? Well, this afternoon, I guess, for you. It's locked, yes. I'm so excited to play Labyrinth of Flies. <laughs> I like this game a lot. <laughs> so. <clears throat> well, I don't know what I'm really waiting on. <laughs> fast combo because I don't want to skip anything okay here we go I've made it to the museum Melina called you in to help her with the exhibit right right and now she's missing oh that sounds bad it's too soon to tell what are you doing at the museum again the museum she works for is opening an exhibit of Greek antiquities, and apparently the museum has been losing staff right and left. Yeesh, well, maybe... Make sure you stand in the middle, then. You look into everything at the museum, and in the meantime, we'll contact the network. Call us if you need anything. Thanks, I will. Especially... <coughs> what was that? I gotta go. Hello? Help me, please, help! Be quiet! Leave her alone! It's rehearsals, no need for that. But we'll take the compliment. Take five, Thanos. I'm so sorry to interrupt your rehearsal. Don't be. I'm doing okay. Sorry to scare Thank you like you. that. I thought we were alone. You were very convincing. I'm Nancy, by the way. I'm Xenia. Nice to meet you. I'm here to help Melina with the museum. Perfect. I'm pretty busy. Hopefully we'll get to know each other. What's your play about? Oh, you'll like it. It's got kidnapping, extortion, death, trickery, getting cast down into Hades with no hope of escape. The usual boy meets girl in ancient Greece story. Sounds exciting. I hope so. We're performing the story of Persephone to open the new exhibit. Persephone? <coughs> hmm. Refresh my memory. She's the daughter of Demeter, goddess of the harvest. But even Demeter can't, can't keep, keep her, her daughter, daughter safe. safe. Hades kidnaps Persephone, you saw that part, and takes her to be his queen. I'm glad I'm in modern day Greece. The dating scene back then seemed pretty rough. That it was. Honestly, the material's a little difficult to work with. I feel like I know her. The more we rehearse, the more I want the story to have a happier ending. You play Persephone, I presume? I do. I'm also directing the show. That's great. I hope I get a chance to see it. I just hope it's worth seeing. We're doing our best, but 
Can you keep a secret? I'm out of <laughs> depth here. None of the rest. No, of this is modern day Greece. Deep, deep in the woods. I know that feeling, but I think you can accomplish a lot by just acting like someone who knows what's happening. I have to. I put myself out there. I said I can do this. So now I have to show up and be the boss, and I have to yell. And even though my voice sounds like shaking paper in my head and my insides feel like snapping twigs, none of them can know that. I just needed to say it. I bet you'll do just to a stranger. Fine. Really? I needed to say that to a what stranger. So? I don't know. It just seemed like a supportive thing to say. <laughs> You're nice. You're nice. Hey, you seem pretty together, but can I give you some advice? Sure. Be careful around the boys. Especially Thanos. Why? He's a bit intense. Bye bye. Bye bye. Talk to you later. Okay. Let's just pick up this book that's just sitting here. Famous people of ancient Greece. <coughs> So, of all the people in the Nancy Drew universe, it's been collectively agreed upon that I look like Xenia. Um, or closer to her than any other girl in the Nancy Drew universe. And I agree, I think. I can be Xenia. Locked. Hmm. Hmm. Apparently, I can steal people's mail. Do I want to go inside or down first? Hey, Uluwu, how are you doing today? First time in the Nancy Drew universe. Well, welcome. We just started this mystery. What is she doing? Why are you running? Have I ever cosplayed at Xenia? Not yet. What's going <laughs> on? I was freehand tracing. Okay. I wanted to understand the detail work, so I put thin paper on the glass, leaned in close, and... Put too much weight on the glass? Please don't tell anyone I broke the case. Sounds like it was an honest mistake. I'm sure you have nothing to worry about. I don't know you. Do you know me? Not yet. I'm Nancy. Niobe. I'm the reason we can't have nice things, <laughs> on a cultural level. <laughs> You're in the play, right? I'm Demeter. You seem focused. Am I interrupting? Yes. Thank you, though. I need the break. Aren't you excited for opening night? No. No and no. Nope. <laughs> Are you nervous? Nervous when I sleep. Terrified when I'm awake. I'm so relieved we've only got the one show. Just one? That's nothing. You should leave. What? Why? You might end up spoiling the ending if you hear too much. I think I know how it ends. No. Our ending is different. More frightening. Less predictable. Are you... Late? Yes. I have to go. Okay, bye. All right, let's look around the museum. Male torso in contra contra posto stance. I don't know what that means. I like the music in this game, so I'm cutting the music up a bit.
<laughs> Create your own temple, heck yeah. I want a forest setting. Give me the big columns. I'm a simple lady. I'll take those. I like that one. The people. Oh yeah. Nice. Oh, I couldn't print it. You have this game in your Steam library, you just haven't been brave enough yet? Well, this is in my top five of Nancy Drew games. This is in my top five. So that's how much I really enjoy this game. <clears throat> great puzzles, great atmosphere, great music, great characters, great story. Um, I really do enjoy this game a lot. She broke it. Nancy, welcome to Greece. Come find me in my office and I'll give you the drachma tour. If I'm not in, show yourself around and introduce yourself to the theater troupe. While we're working to get the show up, they'll be getting ready for a show of their own. I'll be taking care of relations between the troupe and the museum, but it never hurts to make some new friends. This exhibit will go down in history as one of the finest explorations of Greek culture. I couldn't think of anyone better to help me make it happen. Since we don't have a doormat, you'll find your key to the office with Nike. For today, make sure the vase display is properly labeled, create the temple images for the architecture display, get tickets assigned for tonight's performance. That should do it for now. Good luck and try not to set off any alarms. See you soon, Melina. As you no doubt know now, there's been a change in plans. I'm doing my best to track down the missing pieces as quickly as possible. Hopefully what we're looking at is a simple shipping error. I've already contacted the local authorities to open an investigation. All staff and members of the troop consented to searches and interviews. The theater troop may come to you with access requests. The members of the troop have been put through the same screening process you and I have, so they are more than welcome to any resources they need. On the off chance you do see anything out of the ordinary, give me a call. Until I can rule out a shipping error, we're not pointing fingers in any direction, but still keep an eye out for any red flags. I'll do my best to return quickly, but until I do, it's up to you to keep the wheels from falling off the wagon and get the exhibit ready for opening night. Make use of my office to catch up on any information related to our exhibits and processes. M. Alright, so she ain't here. She said the key is with Nike. Got it. Hello. Answer. Nancy, I'm so sorry I wasn't able to meet you in person. Oh, that's okay. Is something wrong? Yes, something is very wrong. Some of our exhibit pieces have gone missing. Are they lost or...? Stolen. I don't know. And frankly, it doesn't matter. The pieces in question, they're worth millions. If I can't recover them, our doors are as good as closed. I'm here for you. Anything you need. Oh, thank you. A lifetime of thank yous. I still need you to do the job we brought you on for, and you'll find everything you need for that in the office. But more importantly, I need you to be my eyes and ears. Does that mean you think we're dealing with theft? I really hope not, but we can't rule that out. But you're worried. I am. Okay, why is that? The pieces we lost never arrived. They were on the shipping invoice, but they were not in the crate. Is that common? It could be a simple mistake. Or it could be someone changed the invoice to buy enough time to smuggle the jewelry out. I'm tracking down both possibilities. That's why I need you here. You got it. I'm following the paper trail now. And with luck, I'll find the error and be back tomorrow. You worry about that. I'll take care of the museum. Great. You'll find everything you need in the office. I should tell you, Niobe broke one of the necklace display cases. What? She said she was trying to trace the detail work and put too much pressure on the glass. Is everything still there? 
I think so. Well, thanks Zeus for that. How did she react when you talked to her about it? She was really upset. She actually asked me not to tell you. Like no one would notice. <sighs> These things do happen. Keep an eye on her. Mistakes happen, but a series of mistakes don't. Got it. Do you suspect that anyone in the cast took the missing jewelry? We did at first. But then? The police came in, interviewed everyone, and the cast was very cooperative. That's good, at least. Maybe. Maybe? They all consented to having their cars and hotels searched. The police reviewed all of the security footage and came to the conclusion that no one in the cast snuck anything out of the museum. But you doubt this? For all intents and purposes, they're cleared. But it just doesn't make sense. Nothing just disappears. Nothing just disappears. Bye bye. Bye. Alright. Exhibit Summary. I'm actually going to read this. Exhibit Summary Out of the Ashes. I'm proud to announce that the Out of the Ashes exhibit closed successfully. This exhibit marks the first time the PCC has worked with outside organizations to mount a single on-site experience. The highlights. We outsold our highest admission day total by over 75%. We sold enough yearly passes within a seven-day period to account for 15% of our annual operating budget. Exit surveys dem demonstrate a high level of guest satisfaction with the exhibit, with most participants rating the experience as favorable and memorable. Partnerships formed from the exhibit will continue to be our lifeline during these uncertain economic times. Critical issues. Out of the Ashes has taken a large toll on our yearly budget. Posting record attendance levels is great news, but it was not enough to cover the cost of an expensive joint venture. The project was seen as an investment from the start, and it is important to keep that fact in mind. Partnerships are our single most important resource today and moving forward. Our current collection is remarkable, but it is unfortunately not a large draw. To thrive, we must find new partners interested in using our space and sharing our resources. Stage update. As many of you know, I have been in group with the Panax group about Panax? 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 group about a possible update to our stage area. Panax approached me earlier in the year, hoping to use our stage as a demonstration site for their newest venture. Panax's mission is to modernize her, our historical stages with state-of-the-art technology. The resistance to this idea elsewhere in the country is working in our favor. We've been cleared to improve the stage area and will be able to make use of the company's services. Now the good news. Panax will provide their services free of charge, payment deferred via charitable gift to be exact. In exchange, we will allow the company to host demonstrations no more than once a month and also allow the company to feature our location in their literature and advertising. Given the difficulty we have drawing a crowd, this is too good a deal to pass on. I propose a meeting to finalize the deal and work out any profit-sharing agreements. Breaking ground. We are pleased to announce that the renovation of the stage has begun. It's scheduled for completion in advance of next year's spring exhibit. If there has ever been a time to go all in on an exhibit, it's now. We'll be meeting to discuss possible exhibit themes with partners as well as searching for an appropriate play for our opening week. Hey, Joe, how are you? It's been a long time since I've seen you around. It's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Okay. From board to Melina, subject theater group. Em, it's come to my attention you'll be needing a theater group for the opening of your ne next exhibit. Look no further, I've got you covered. From Melina to board. Thanks for the offer, but I want this show to be perfect. I'll be scouting talent next month in London and New York. Board to Melina. 
about that. Sorry, we don't have the budget. I should have been clear in my first email, but I was hoping to frame it in a positive manner. I found our theater group. I have a friend who owes me a favor. Landing this group is a major coup, I promise you. I know you wanted to make the decision, so please trust me when I say I would have never made the call if it wasn't an absolute requirement. I've been doing pretty good as well. Thanks so much. From Melina to Board. I can't say I'm not disappointed, but I understand. Please tell me honestly that they're good. Board to Melina. They're the best they're the best money can buy. Our tiny pile of money. Melina to Board. Your theater group has arrived and begun rehearsals. Interesting choice. Hey Z Fruit, how you doing? Great to see you again. Melina to Board. I've secured the final piece for the exhibit. As requested, the final list of borrowed items and length of loan terms is below. So they got six pieces from here. So these are the pieces they got. As an update, the obelisk coins for the bottom row of the coin display are still stuck in customs. Since they won't arrive in time for the opening night gala, I've placed obelisk replicas in the display for the interim. Okay. All right. Ooh, phone charm. Need a key. Ooh, I like your little far-fetched emote. Okay. Wait. Oh, I couldn't click on that. You are not bad. Well, that's not bad is halfway to good. Contest winner. Oh, apparently I plugged my phone in there. The password must be around here somewhere. Let's look for the password. What have we done? Did that. Can't check that off yet. Can't check that. Still, still have to do, still have to do, right. that's done. One, two, three, four, that's the password, obviously. That's always the password. I have ideas. Can you help me get a closer look at some of the locked up pieces? Okay, I'll ask. Fine. Do you know much about Greek mythology? Here, take this, you'll love the myths. They're full of the most amazing insanity. I'm glad we don't live in that world. For the most part. Okay. Later. Until later. Hmm. Yo, Xenia. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What do you need? Niobe wants to make a high-resolution image of the items in the coin display. What for? She has this montage plan for when Demeter is bargaining with Hermes. She'll offer him money, jewels, none of which will work, obviously, but we wanted to project the image. Okay, how can I help? See if your boss will let us get a closer look. Obviously, Dogs. we'll follow Dogs. protocol to for the sure. letter. It seems like a lot of work went into production. Why only one show? One show? Who said that? Niobe. Poor Niobe. I bet she wishes it was just one. She's so scared. All she sees is opening night. We're here the whole week. Bye-bye. Talk to you later. All right, we'll go this way now. You want a puppy? What kind of dog? Like, what kind of breeds do you go for? Bigger dogs? Smaller dogs? Do you like one certain breed over others? All light cue changes and fly system weight settings originate with Xenia and Scriptnet's cues will be signed off by Xenia and Grigor. Look into automation of light cues. Xenia keeps adding to Hermes' role. At this point, I can barely make the cues between scenes. A small dog? I tend to like bigger dogs myself, but small dogs are still cool sometimes. Oh, corgis and pugs. Cute. 
Why does Thanos keep having his lines cut? At this point, I'm carrying the show. This isn't Hermes' story. What gives? Maybe Xenia can explain. Apparently, my question about Hermes' role was not welcome. If she keeps me running around, I'll hardly be able to get my job done. Aw, password required. Definitely need to figure out what to do here before I try anything. Okay. Hello. Hi, I'm Nancy. You must be... Hermes, god of charisma and handsomeness. But the mortals call me Gregor. Nice to meet you. The same. What's your role? I guess I'm playing the part of the museum assistant. Then why don't we become friends? I'm open to that. More than friends? Less open to that. Boyfriend at home. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. That doesn't affect the average. <laughs> Oh, that's true. Do you know anything about the stolen art? Too much. Why is that? When it went missing, the police had a long talk with all of us. That's news to me. We didn't want it to become a bigger deal. I like Gregor. I like all the characters all in this game. Answer their questions. That's why I love this Elena game so much. The tapes and we turned over our keys and let them search our hotels and cars. So if you're all here, it's safe to assume they didn't find anything. I got the sense it was just a formality searching us. Hey, Hugh, how are you this morning? Glad to see ya. How are you? What's your role in the production? Too many things. Is that usual? Yes, but things are a little more intense this time. Because there are so few of you? Mm-hmm. Why don't you have a larger support crew? Generally, we do. But because the background checks were really extensive, we didn't have time to worry about anyone other than I'm ourselves. doing pretty good, too. To answer your question, had a rough week, but the weekend has the been shaping up I'm nicely, sure right script, so no complaints I there. To keep us from killing each other. Why do you think Xenia keeps making your role bigger? Would you stay out of my things? <laughs> okay, okay. I have no idea, honestly. Maybe she just likes keeping you busy. I have to go. Oh, okay. And then he continues to stand there. Can't do that now. Let go. Okay. Stay away from that. It'll kill you. What exactly <laughs> am I staying away from? That's the fly system. It controls the scenery and the curtains, and it'll kill you. It'll kill you. I'll be careful then. <laughs> oh, finally he left. Touch all the things. Can I take this copy? I don't think so. Hugh, do you remember when we went over this entire script on the voice chat? Remember when we did that? Wow! I feel like there's a little bit of, a, of some ag aggression in there for you, Z-Fruit. Should we be concerned? Is this literally it? Is just the script I can't take for now? Cred, I don't remember. You still have the recordings for it? That's awesome. Alright. Go down to the scary basement. <laughs> Grab this book because we obviously need this. I wonder which of these c chapters is important. Maybe that one. I need to figure out the combo. I don't remember where I find all of these things. Um, I did a reading stream last night. Um, so you can rewatch that if you want. Um, my next reading stream will probably be like possibly tomorrow night or Monday day morning hi what can you tell me about Gregor I like him I know he's the type to flatter I know it's self-serving to listen to him when he tells me I'm gorgeous and brilliant but you know what I can use the emotional junk food some days it is 11.05 a.m. 
on Saturday. What made you interested in ancient Greece? Hmm. I guess if I had to pick an answer, I'd say the ancient Greeks. Okay, fair answer. It seems a little strange that there are only four people in the entire cast and crew. A good stage director doesn't cast herself, but I understand Persephone. Okay, how? I was this happy girl, and one day I fell into this vast sadness. I oh, I got you. But just like Persephone, well, it, the I know it um, back for me. The best days, video on demand is I saved, so if you'd like to go back and rewatch it, please feel free to do that. Persephone, but what happens <clears throat> if there's a problem during the performance and you're all on stage? I don't like to think about that. How long have you been touring? On and off for a while. This is my first time directing, but I've been acting since the day I was born. Who hasn't? Later. Talk to you later. I just love all these characters so much. Okay. Um. I'm gonna go call Melina. Oh, we need to set our stuff. Okay, wallpaper. Which wallpaper? How come I don't have that one? I'm actually thinking that one. I'm going to do this one. Play snaky snaky. <laughs> I think I like the DJ. Yep, I've got these games. These are the games I've got. My diary. Okay, back to what I was doing, which is calling Melina. How are things going? Can I get a key to the coin display? You'll need to open the filing cabinet first. The key to the filing cabinet is hidden inside the box with the animal figurines. Pair up the animals with the images so the animal and image pair represent the same god. You got it. I know you weren't brought here for this, but I need you to learn about provenance. As in verifying the authenticity of the art? You're as sharp as they say. That's it. Isn't that normally left to the experts? Generally, yes, but if we're dealing with theft of any kind, I need you to become an expert. Instantly? Unfortunately, but you'll come to it naturally. I'm flattered, but what makes you say that? You will find that it's like solving a mystery, which I hear you're pretty good at at home. I'll do my best. Proving provenance is a classic whodunit. You look at a vase or a painting, and you follow the clues to see who... done it. <laughs> who painted, or sculpted, or chiseled the work. Theft is bad, yes. <laughs> When you put it that way, I think I'm comfortable with the methodology. Perfect. You'll find what you need on the computer. Niobe may be able to help you. So, um, this game is um, game 31 of the 32 Nancy Drew games. I like this game a lot better than the last Nancy Drew game you watched me play. Um, I just feel like this one is generally overall better. It's got a better story, better characters, things like that. To the correct symbol. Okay. Matching ca characters to the correct symbol. So let's see. So Zeus is Thunderbolt and Eagle. So Eagle. 
Oh, I've been playing. I've been streaming them um, chronologically, Hugh. So Shattered Medallion was before this one. And I'm trying to do this. I've played this game multiple times before, but I'm trying to do this without relying too heavily on my notes. So we've got the peacock feathers. She was often associated with a cow. cow. Then we've got the sword, which is most likely not Aphrodite. Okay, let's see. Ares was one of the least popular Olympians among both the Greeks and the immortals, neither of whom relished the idea of war and violence for which he stood. He was typically depicted in armor with a helmet and shield holding a spear or sword. Magpies and vultures were sacred to him, and he was followed by his attendants. Discord, strife, and panic. So, vulture... Save the animals! Yeah. Alright, so that looks like a fern or something like that. So Aphrodite was associated with doves? But, oh, Aphrodite is with love. So, love and doves. Love and doves. So, Apollo is god of the sun, patron of fine arts and music, twin younger brother to Artemis. One myth states he escaped the island Delos by turning into a dolphin with a seven-stringed lyre. So, dolphin and lyre. Artemis with her bow and a deer. I bet you that's Athena. It says Athena also was allowed to wield his thunderbolts. Oh, the olive tree, though. Boom. Got it. Key. These must be the tags for the display. Time cards. Quit. Petros quit. Mikhail quit on his third flipping day. Thalia quit. Chloe quit. Yanni was... Yanni. Was fired. Aha! Claire Rotarion. I don't know what that was. Oh, the coin display key. Got it. I think whatever Clarotarion. Boom! Welcome, my dear expert in training. Your crash course begins now. You, we have three pieces you must verify provenance on. Start with the gold leaf necklace in the center of the coin display. You'll find more information in the provenance program. Complete the drop down fields, attach an image of the object, and submit your findings. I'm growing more certain the pieces I'm tracking down won't be found. Engage the cast, but don't push too hard. Keep them talking. I'm working on getting you some help, but I simply cannot get in contact with any of the former museum staff. Nancy, I completely forgot to tell you I have a courier coming for the tickets to tonight's show. Once you've assigned the first group seating, please drop the tickets in the mailbox outside the museum's front entrance. Entrance. Any other tickets you assign or will call tickets for the later performances and don't need to be printed out. Also, I'm going to be doing a lot of travel and might not always have time to explain everything. I'll send you what you need to know about the museum using this messenger. Please check in from time to time. Okay, I really like this I need puzzle. Seats like, I love this puzzle, impressed. actually. So I'm going to probably do a couple rounds of this just because it's fun, if that's okay with you. Okay, so um, since you missed the beginning of the game, I'll give you a... Um, quick rundown as to what the mystery is. So Nancy arrives um, to this museum in Athens, Greece. Um, they are prepping for a really big um, opening day for this brand new exhibit. And going along with the exhibit, there's this theater troupe that is prepping a show to do like every day for a week to kind of, I guess, build hype about the uh, museum exhibit. So 
uh, Nancy shows up and the curator is actually not here because she was um, she left to go um, investigate a bunch of missing uh, like artifacts you know pieces that are missing so she's off doing that so but she there's a suspicion that the pieces are missing because they may have been stolen by somebody in the acting troupe. So Nancy is, number one, still trying to get everything prepped for the opening day. And two, kind of under the radar, trying to get more information about what could have happened to those pieces. Um, and if anybody in the theater troupe knows about what's going on. That's basically the mystery of this game. And more things will be revealed as we go in the game. But Okay. Manos wants four tickets, while Gavril, Lilith, and Vakros all want six. Adamo wants four aisle seats. Okay. Gavril wants all front row best seats possible. <laughs> I'm not going to give any spoilers about... Uh, who who is Macros wants as many discount seats available first then standard seats This can't be right Okay, hang on. Lilis wants three VIP seats and the remaining seats together in Prime. Okay. <clears throat> Manos wants only Prime seating. He wants four tickets. Yeah, I totally agree, Hugh. Um, this game's ending is one of the most shocking, surprising, twisty endings that we've ever seen in the series, and I really, really like that. <clears throat> no, these are just seats that are handicapped, not people. Um, they're like accessible seats. Okay, let's see. Manos only wants prime seating. That's blue, and he wants four. <sighs> Let's do Vakros. He wants as many discount seats available. So that's three. And then standard seats. So let's just put him right here. So Vakros is done. Adamo wants four aisle seats. But Manos only wants prime seating. Hmm. Oh wait, Manos needs all handicap seats and wants only prime seating. But then how can Adamo even have four? Like that, I guess. And then put the other two here for Vakros. And then that leaves six for Gavril. Oh, is that not right? Submit. All done. Yeah, yeah. Time to drop these off in the mailbox. <coughs> Great. That was fun. I can cross that off my to-do list now. I'm going to do one more of those just because they're fun for me. So sorry if that's boring for you guys, but I really like this game. This puzzle.
Petrovic wants five tickets, all handicap accessible. Okay, there's seven. I'm on junior, just because I like my task list. <clears throat> Which I know that the senior has a ta task list, but I don't know. I just always end up picking junior when I'm on stream. Okay, so Petrovic does not want any VIP seats. So one, two, three, four, five. So Petrovic is done. The difference is just kind of the, the difficulty in puzzles, um, the amount of hints available in game, uh, things like that. Okay, Laurent wants one prime seat. That's a blue. W at least one yellow seat and all others the cheapest available. And he wants seven tickets. So one, one two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Hmm. I'm actually going to swap these to this because. Demetridis wants a square block with no aisle seats. So I'm going to put this here. Novak wants four seats in a row. Laurent Larson's party of six wants to sit together in a row. Okay, let's see. So square block for Demetridis. Laurent needs one prime seat. Got it. At least one standard seat and all others cheapest available. Petrovic does not want any VIP seats. Cool. Novak wants four seats in a row. Laurent needs seven tickets. That's blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Larson's party of six all went to sit together in a row. Petrovic wants five tickets, all handicap accessible. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Am I studying? I don't know what you mean. Um, if you mean like, am I still in school? No. Um, I'm 24 years old, so I know I look a little younger than that, but I finished high school. I finished college. Um, I'm just working now and streaming when I have time. Okay. Gold gold green leaf necklace looks like i'll need a unique password to access the archives i'm i finished college uh, i studied film production so wait what lottery yeah i studied film production so oh goodness So I work in film uh, on occasion, which I really enjoy. Whoops. Do what? Is this is the best game? Well, so the best game is kind of. You could ask a whole bunch of Nancy Drew fans, fans, and everybody will kind of say that um, something different is the best game. My favorite game is uh, Secret of Shadow Ranch, which is game number ten. However, oh shoot. Um, do I think it's the best game? Probably not. Um, I would think probably...
probably the best game is like Ghost of Thornton Hall or um, Secret of she, Secret or Shadow at the Water's Edge. No, that's okay if you're multitasking. I earned zero entries. Great. Want to know a secret? Are the seats packed with the dead? Should I line you up and punch you down into the land of the dead? Well, do you want to know a secret? So polite. Oh, I mustn't talk in the theater. Curses for all the gods. I've gone and broken the fourth wall. But no bother. Your beloved real world is itself theater. You're used to pretend, used to believing what you want to believe. For the next 90 minutes, I will be telling you lies. And you will agree they are the truth. That's actually more or less what's printed on my business card. Hermes, messenger to the gods. Certified liar. Founder and CEO of Olympic Scandal Magazine. Inventor of gossip. <laughs> I'll be handing these out after the show. Mercury keeps poaching my clients these days. Roman gods, pfft, cheap knockoffs. Bacchus is a cool guy. The rest, forgeries of our greatness. Okay, Except have no fun with your dinner. I hope it's good. Now, as I was saying, do you want to hear a secret? Yes. I'm also the guide to the underworld. Hades, the old Greek soul closet. Little known fact about being dead. Death is very boring. Not much happens in Hades. It's just a lot of souls being dead. In chairs, being dead at breakfast, dead souls just wandering about. That's the gist. I mean, every four years, we have our own Olympics, but we've yet to fully figure out soul physics. Archimedes is doing his best, but we're still no closer to finding the pole vaulters. They just went, uh, you know, just gone. Quite floaty and dearly missed, like spice ships at sea. So you must understand my interest was piqued when I discovered the underworld exploding with news, curiosity, intrigue. A mysterious young woman was coming so beautiful, so sad, so frightened. Yet those were not the qualities that drew the land of the dead to watch her every move. No, what moved them so was that this girl was alive. I have a tragic tale to tell a story of three gods who conspired and fought over the fate of one lost girl it's a story i've told before sometimes the maiden persephone returns home escapes from hades unscathed and sometimes the dark forces of the underworld prevail zeus how does the story end you just want me to skip everybody else's line okay I was going to say, I just, it's on nine? <coughs> I only had, I was going to say, I don't know, the next line, or the next speech. Oh, okay, let me find the next speech. Oh, no, 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 there's a little speech. Oh, there it is. How are you not cold? It's, it's cold, very chilly, pretty nippy. It's, it's pretty nippy indeed, my friend. The big Z is not feeling chatty, I see. Could that be because I convinced you to marry off Demeter's daughter and now she's destroying life as we know it? Eh, probably, yes. I hate it when you're angry. Makes swans even more untrustworthy than they already are. <laughs> Some people say that death has a twisted sense of humor. I assure you, death has no sense of humor. Speak of the Greek analog of the devil, and the Greek analog of the devil appears. Shocking. Speak of the Greek analog of the devil, and the Greek analog of the devil <laughs> appears. Shut it. I would love to shut it, but I need clarification <laughs> on which it I must shut to make you happy. Shut your mouth, or I'll shut you in an airless cell under the river's fire. There it is. Zeus! I'm afraid this one's on me, darling. The big guy is peeved. Have you noticed 
Bet you've been getting a bit more boat traffic these days. The harvest is always strong. You're about to run into some economies of scale issues. Speak plainly. Demeter has frozen the world. You're about to be swimming in corpses. I am prepared. We're not. Not so much. I have taken my queen, the queen you gave to me. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Introduced, not gave. I guess it depends on the culture and the era. And if one party is a nymph and the other party and the other party the second most powerful god and if one party is a nymph and the other party the second most powerful god eh, i guess it depends on the culture in the era i've always said that i said that just earlier you are great but you're giving back your queen one way or another listen let's calm tensions the god economy has not been great we're not in the shape to have a god war here let's be civil civility is weakness in practice. Practice makes perfect. Sort it out with Demeter. Persephone is my queen, and so she will remain. I suppose I'm left to deal with... I suppose I'm left to deal with this, but I also suppose this is more or less my fault. I'm having a me day. Okay, so... Let's go take a picture. Oh. It's this. Camera. Zoom. Zoom. Done. Boop. Oh, first I gotta find the provenance. Okay, hang on. Okay, gold leaf necklace is in the golden age. It was received July 2nd by Stavros. Sta the golden age is from State Museum of Fine Arts through September. Okay. Jewelry. Received July 2nd. Received by Stavros. Current owner is the State Museum. On loan from exhibit the Golden Age. Loan ends in September. All done. The Nemean. Okay, let's go grab a picture of the Nemean. The Nemean lion. That should do it. What a cute little lion. Ah, Zavenya. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, Nemi and Lion. Lion sculpture. <sighs> World of Gods and Heroes. Received on June 29th by Mikhail. Excuse me. So, world of God. 
Oh, Tay. Okay. Costas Bezos through November. Oh, whoops. Sculpture. Received June 29th by Mikhail Costas Bezos. World of Gods and Heroes. Loan ends November. Done. <coughs> Vase depicting four. Welcome back. Vase depicting four women. One seated holding a bird, another standing directly behind her chair. Okay, let's go look at the vases. Ah, this one. Done. Wait, if those time cards are correct, then the signature for the vase can't be right. June thirtieth, Sophia, permanent collection. Vases came from Metropolitan Museum of Classical Art. Yeah. I said it was signed by Sophia on June 30th, but she was on holiday. Oh no, I just said welcome back. received June 30th which can't be true but we're going to put it in by Sophia current owner was the National Archaeological Museum part of the permanent collection loan ends in August got it time gap indicated unable to confirm provenance got it check did that haven't done that. That's done. That's done. That's done. Check. Did that. Haven't. Haven't done that. Okay. Sorry, can't talk now. Okay. I need a big favor. Okay, what's that? Can you set me up with the time cards from the office? I have been so underwater, I haven't been tracking our rehearsal time. I'll see what I can do. I'll let you go. Talk to you later. Oh, because I, I don't turn my, I, so my stream bot, um, so like where somebody could do song requests or do shout outs for other people, um, I don't turn my bot on when I do Nancy Drew. So I always just put it in the title. All right. Hmm. Later. Bye. Yeah, I just put it in the title so that people come in and. They know that I don't have song requests on today or anything like that. They can't do shout outs, blah, 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 blah. Why won't she talk to me? What is it? Okay. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right. I guess I'll just do this. Looks like the temple is already designed. I just have to build it. Lofty site to honor the hunt. 
it's probably the forest. Colorful panoramic band. Animals above. Animals. I don't know what the word voluit means. Shoot. Oh, what's this? This could be helpful. Okay, voluit volut is this. Dang it. Colorful panoramic. Animals above the cor cornice. Volute orientation, which is like that. Double hall. And for honoring the hunt. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay, it was this that I had wrong. So this is temple one. Hmm. Temple two. Next temple. Four to end. Okay. Square abacus. What's an abacus? Okay, here. So that's these. Bustling Agora. Agora is a city center. City. Abstract Gable. I think a gable is the top bit. Abstract. Musical dedication. Meotopes. Yeah, that's those. Yeah, I know the third one was a guy. What's the yellow things on the shelf? You asked me that last time. <laughs> um, those are my Nancy Drew books. The classic series. Oh, eat that sandwich, man. Okay. So Apollo's temple is temple two. One more temple. Building temples is easy when Nancy Stonemason Drew is on the case. That's okay. It's okay if you forgot. Uh, acanthus leaves. So those... Twice as many columns on sides as on ends. Which I think is this one. Sculptured mortals on all levels. Mortals. More mortals. <laughs> Water view for wisdom. And wisdom is Athena. Oh, that's cool. I it I like doing that too, especially if I'm doing like housework or laundry or something. Put a stream on in the background. Yay! Create the temple designs. I need something to help me figure out which base is which first. Hmm. Hello. Bye bye. Until later.
Consider the museum on full lockdown from here on out. No vehicles of any kind are allowed near the exits. Keep an eye out for anything that could be useful to the police if something is amiss. Did something change? Melina? Hi. Okay. Later. Goodbye. should I do next? I need a book before I can do that. Can't that's done. Can't ha, ha, haven't done that. Ha ha haven't done that. All right. I'll let you go. Talk to you later. Hmm. Hi, Moocher. How are you doing today? Oh, I just found a phone charm, so that's fun. I'm going to touch these. They will kill you. What was that? Can you pretend just for a day that we're a professional troop? I'm a fast reader. Hours, hours. Do I need to remind you what is riding on tonight's show? Everything. I'm going to go this way now. Look at her things. Thanos. A natural performer, Thanos to take the stage for the first time in a role he was born to play Hades. Xenia. Wow, look at all this stuff. Niobe. Grigor. I wonder if Xenia's notes will come in handy. You're coming from a birthday party, leaving for a birthday party? What a popular dude. Okay. Control 18355. I've got that written down. Great. Fly system. Light cues. Thanos wants to leave a personalized message for our VIPs. Need to make sure they have a key to the poster out front. I'll take this. <laughs> ah. I'm sorry if I bore you guys, but this is like one of my favorite, favorite, favorite parts of this game. Are these jigsaw puzzles I assemble the image so I'm gonna do some jigsaw puzzles if that's cool with y'all People just want your presents. Four hour free bar. Hey Raz, how you doing? Good morning to you, Dolan. Um, how are you today? Did I hear that you were moving? Is that like a thing that I heard? If so, good luck. Oh, you're currently at the, yeah, you are. You are going somewhere. Y'all's okay with that? Yeah, just be safe. Okay, um, let's put, wait, are you, aren't you like moving or are you just going like on a trip? Oh, you're just visiting. Okay, got it. I thought you were like moving or something like that. Where are you going to? Who are you visiting? Uh, 
Um, yes, this is a Nancy Drew game that takes place in Athens. Oh, you're visiting the girl. That's awesome. I hope you guys have fun. Wisconsin. Uh, cheese is the best food. So please, please get some cheese and enjoy while you are there. Holy flip, that scared me. <laughs> Thank you, Semi. <laughs> Thank you for the host, Semi. <laughs> oh, gosh. I don't remember where this goes. Hmm. What is my favorite kind of cheese? Gouda. Gouda cheese is the bomb. How are you doing today, Semi? Thank you. For, thank you for the host, Raz. <clears throat> okay. These lettuce mean something to me. Gouda. Yes, Hugh. Ah, yes. I do. I love me some Gouda, smoked or not smoked. Baked brie is also the bomb. So, yes. In complete agreement. Um, if I if I always have time to eat, I usually do. <laughs> yes, Lotchkis, do it. Um, I'm actually not a fan of blue cheese, unfortunately. I like a lot of cheeses, but not really blue cheese. So, is this a lady's... Yeah. And I think this is her face. This is somebody's head. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm not a huge fan of blue cheese. Um... Semi, you're so weird. <laughs> I mean that in the most loving way possible. <laughs> okay, this is somebody's face. Yeah, two hours is plenty of time to eat. There we go. Um, cottage cheese. Hmm. I feel like I'll eat cottage cheese only if it's like within certain contexts. So like typically I wouldn't go for cottage cheese. Um. So, gosh, I don't know. I guess I would say on a regular day, no. No cottage cheese. I'm in my 20s, give it 10 more years. <laughs> then you like blue cheese with nuts and honey. Mm, I don't know. But, uh, one thing I do love is, like, ricotta cheese. So, like, if you've ever had, like, manicotti pasta, which it's basically, like, the Italian version of, like, an enchilada, and it's just, like, dough that's, like, stuffed with ricotta cheese and parmesan and sometimes mozzarella. You've got, like, the red... Um, you guys are making me hungry. <laughs> I like yogurt. I like yogurt, okay. 
Salad? <laughs> what are you talking about now? Ecuador, heck yeah. This lady's hand. Who is looking at art? There we go. I think this is part of like a table or something. Right? Isn't somebody on a table or a chair or something? Oh, wait, this is the chair behind her. Cottage cheese goes on salad and not in yogurt, right? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You're starting to make me question everything. Raspberry. I love this music. This game's music is so good. I don't understand. Ah! <laughs> yeah, I don't know you're confusing me now. If your girl is a cheese expert, you should keep her around. And she could probably tell you. The proper way. Y'all, I'm so hyped. Only six days until... Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon come out. I'm, like, seriously so hyped. <laughs> okay. You're gonna be away when it comes out. No, can you have you pre-ordered it? If you've pre-ordered it, then sucks. If you haven't, then you could probably just go to where like the closest GameStop or whatever to pick up a copy. Oh, like you oh, you haven't pre-ordered it? Yeah, so you could pre-order it now and just have it sent to the address of wherever you're at. Especially if you do it through like Amazon or Amazon Prime. Yes. I the think National you can. Oh, Art actually, that's a good question. Athens. Sounds very official. I'm actually not sure. Oh, you can. Sweet. Do it, man. Do it and get it. Uh, if you do it through Amazon, you can get it mailed to wherever you're going to be. And then, or you could just like, if you do like a pre-order pickup from GameStop, you could just look up the closest GameStop to where you're going to be and go pick it up on launch day or whatever. Um. Tom, how many have you played? Um, that's the biggest question. Um, if you haven't really ever gotten into it, I can see how that is because the format is the same. And that's kind of the point of the series is that the format of the game is the same. Like you collect Pokemon, you battle them, there's type advantages, you know, you develop strategies, things like that. However, you know, so many of them are um, different in story, uh, characters, region, um, things like that. So that's one of the biggest reasons that I love Pokemon is because the stories are different, even though the format is the same. So it's like familiar, kind of like Nancy Drew, like it, the format is the same pretty much uh, in all the games. Um, 
yes, I love Sogaleo. I prefer Sogaleo over Lunala as well. But, um, and that's cool if you don't really, if you're not really into it, um, or anything like that. However, um, I can, I can see why somebody who hasn't really delved into the series would feel like they were all the same. Um, but there are a lot of differences within the games that make them, I guess, fresh. Yay. I did it. I want to do another one. I'll only do two for now, so don't freak out. You've never played any, but you've watched a lot on Twitch. Well, I'll tell you this. Um, I play the games for the story, for the region, um, like for the story mode, uh, 90% of the streams of Pokemon on Twitch are shiny hunts and competitive battling, which I'm not into either of those things. So, um, Nuzlocke, slings like that, I don't, I'm not into, to Nuzlocke and, and runs like that. So... If your experience with Pokemon is what you see on Twitch, then it's not a perfectly accurate picture of the scope of the Pokemon franchise. Um, because if you just play them for the games in the story, like I do, then you'll get a lot different of an, of an experience than those who stream them sh on Twitch and they're doing shiny hunting, Nuzlocke runs, things like that. Um, so the scope is a whole lot wider than than the majority of what you see on Twitch, to be fair and to be honest. Not that I dislike any of that. I have a lot of really great friends, including some in my chat right now, that are great at shiny hunts and Nuzlocke runs and things like that. That's just not how I play, which is a thing. another thing that appeals to me about the series is because there's so many different fans of Pokemon. Um, he's not an exclusive hunter. Um <laughs> Yeah, so I, I've i been playing Pokemon since I was six years old, and I continue to play, and, and I continue to love the series. Um, and I plan to keep buying and playing Pokemon until I'm too old to do so, so or until they stop making them. And that's kind of how I feel about Pokemon. I actually love Pokemon more than I love Nancy Drew, and you guys know how much I love Nancy Drew. So if that says anything about me, then... But like I said, um, you know, I I don't really, sh I don't shiny hunt. I don't Nuzlocke run. I may, I'm considering doing a Nuzlocke run at the beginning of the year, but I still haven't decided on that. <laughs> but um, Pokemon's very vast, and I think that's part of its appeal. Um, you can be any kind of video game player, I think, and find a place in Pokemon that appeals to you. Um, and I just think that's really cool and really special. But anyway, but again, if it's not something you're interested in playing for yourself, that's fine. I'm not going to be like, oh my gosh, you have to play it to make a decision on it. I just think that um, Pokemon is a lot vaster than you typically find on Twitch. Which is why when I play Twitch, or when I Twitch, when I stream Pokemon, I just stream it casually. I'm just playing the games for the fun of playing them. And just to kind of show people that... Um, it's a very accessible series, and you don't have to have, like, a certain skill level or anything like that to enjoy it. But now I'm just rambling. <laughs> Sorry. I just feel very strongly about Pokemon, because I, I love it very much. this music though is this a dolphin <laughs> oh no it's like part of a helmet
they love you too. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Everybody wants to be loved, you know? I'm being weirdly dramatic. This is why I could just sit and listen to this soundtrack forever. It's wonderful. It still looks like a roll of toilet paper. Oh. <laughs> guy's face. He's like, <laughs> he's terrified. <laughs> oh, to the left. Oh, here? Or he, wait, what? I don't. <laughs> Boom. All done. Heracles and Athena. Alright. I did two. I'll come back to do the rest later. That's done. Haven't done that. Y'all wanna now go meet the best character in out. this game? Haven't haven't done Y'all ready? Have to do that. The only character in the Nancy Drew series that I kind of sort of have a crush on. The fire alarm buzzer's going off and everyone in the airport's acting like nothing is happening. It, they could be testing it. I'm going to talk to Gregor first. I need first. your help fixing the fly system since you broke it. Reasonable. How do I do that? Just check the tablet. Can you show me how to run the light board? I'd love to, but I really don't have the time. You'll find a book on it somewhere. What drew you to ancient Greece? Greece cultivated the thoughts and ideas that shaped the Western world which Rome then conveniently sold door to door at the pointy end of a spear. Still, I love the gods, though. Imagine living in their shadows. So much drama took place on Olympus. I guess the Pantheon was the first theater troupe in a way. Greece certainly has a very impressive cultural history. I know. I haven't even gotten to the music or the food. You're telling me I'll probably gain a few pounds during my visit here. <laughs> Only a few? On the behalf of the people of Greece, I'm insulted. If I had a big Greek family, I'd invite you for food and arguments and singing at the end. <laughs> that would be nice. Wouldn't it? I'll make it happen one day. You'll see. Did I upset you earlier? No. The show was starting to rest on my shoulders more and more. I needed to catch my breath. Talk to you later. Goodbye. All right, here we go, y'all. I'm so excited. Let me get this thing out of here. One, eight, three, five, five. Aha! This must be the control to the lift. This must be the spot to activate the lift. Down. enter my kingdom <laughs> you're trying to frighten me aren't you call it what you will well why the more you know the less you fear and you want me to be afraid i want to tend to my world and nothing more i'm not easily intimidated you know <laughs> don't care thanos what this means it looks like a partial section of something larger yeah i really like thanos y'all to make a rubbing he's a great image. character hmm. 
looks like he needs something before he'll take me across the river. The river sticks. Hmm. Well, this definitely isn't Venice. Okay. So I need to find a coin to give to Charon so that he'll ferry me across the river Styx. Just like in the myth. <laughs> He is pr Thanos is purple in the Avengers, but this is a different Thanos. I'm actually only going to be streaming for about 15 more minutes. Okay. I need to counterbalance the weights to the production settings. Oh, stage notes. Grigor tablet password first, last repeat. I think I need to do that first. First, I need last to repeat. Out the password according to the notes. Whoops. First. B bud key. Hello. Hello. How you doing? Paleontology. Need to drop in to make sure Niobe's following all the rules. IRT replica work. We will require correct documentation. Just spent a few hours with the detectives. They're talking to each of us about the missing artwork. I convinced the team it'll all go faster if we give the okay to search our vehicles, hotels, and homes. Hopefully we can get the show back on the road as soon as possible. I don't like talking to the police. All cleared, obviously. All of our time cards and entry and exits are accounted for, and obviously the searches of our personal spaces yielded nothing. Thanos was angry just the same, but I don't care. Looks like we're back to our schedule. Molina's left to go track down the pieces. <coughs> Supposedly we'll be getting a new liaison. We'll do what that is needed. Preparation for my role continues, but now I need to manage Niobe, too. She's barely hanging on. I know we need her, but still she's getting push pushed further and further into the shadows. Xenia's wrong about hiring someone that fragile. Dead wrong. I'll do what I can do can to make it work, but if she can't perform, we've got bigger problems than embarrassment to worry about. Doors need to be pushed back until after the final curtain. Melina was supposed to be taking care of this, but it might fall to me now that she's gone. We need to make sure we have proper crowd flow. We want the audience flowing into the museum, not out into the parking lot after the show. Xenia doubled my lines and cut Thanos' lines again. Why does she always want me on the stage and never him? What is going on? I'm beginning to doubt my role here. The people at the stagecraft company keep demanding time to come film the new stage setup. I'm pushing that to the second show, but they keep trying to push it back. I need to make it very clear to everyone that they will not show up with cameras. Regardless of their funding and efforts to make the stage a reality, it's ours when we're using it. We need opening light night to run smoothly, and there's no room for any outside interruption. Zine is on the same page as me. Thanos might need to take point on this. Plutus casting sheet prepared. Even if they rip the red stitching in my bag, no one will ever suspect the truth behind the sheet and read between those lines. Can't do that now. I'm not talking to you until you fix that fly system. Okay. I'm glad to hear you're doing good, Salad. Okay. Sculpture base is 40. So that's the stylo bait. So let's just throw a 40 on there. Oh, me too. I, I like streaming a lot. So in so the into blacher is these three things. take this off actually let's start here portico portico porch for exterior peristyle decorated inter courtyard so portico is a porch which needs a hundred boom 
Boom. Pediment. Is the top bit. Temple top. Oh, or is it the temple triangular roof end? You had a terrible hike. Oh, good. Okay, so maybe pediment is just the triangular roof end. So let's do 80. A plinth is strong enough to support full weight of sculptures put upon them. So that's a sculpture base. So that needs to be 40. So 40. Peristyle is a decorated inner courtyard. So 120. 50, 80, 120, right? The intablature, which is like the cornice, the frieze, and the architrave. So that looks like the temple top. Which is 60, 30, 50, 60, 40 for the style of eight. Is that not right? Oh, so that's temple base. Got it. Got now it. Maybe Gregor will talk to me. Oh, he's not here. Okay, bye. This must be the red stitching Gregor mentioned on his tablet. Plutus? That's not a character in the Persephone story. Each actor will present at least one monologue for the audition. Mikhail Dmitriev. Dimitrov will be reading Unbroken Vase as well as The Tale of Seven Coins. Grant Nagy will be reading Winged Victory. Etienne Martin will be reading The Empty Pitcher and Love Turns to Stone. Kurt Muller will be reading History's Green Jewel. Emma Portnoy will be reading Frozen Warrior Stone God. Costas Bezos will be performing a collection of pieces depending on available time. Audition spots will be given on a first-come, first-served basis should any applicant be unable to fill all aspects of the actor agreement. Check. Check. Can't check that. I did that. Haven't done. Did that. Check. I did that. Okay. Next thing I should do. Oh, she's back. Hello. Hello. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. Hello. What do you think of Thanos? He's coarse. Maybe that's good for playing Hades. I don't think he acts. I think he was typecast. <laughs> As what? A monster. Mm. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Let me check this. I'd like to take a closer look at the poster. Hmm. 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 Don't have a key to that. Hmm. Answer me. Hi, Nancy. Gosh. Bye bye. Bye. All right, I'm going to take one of these coins. Let's see if I can pay the ferryman with this. Yep. Back down. Oh, he's back. Do you like what you found in my bag? Sorry that was intrusive, but 
I'm here to keep tabs on the museum. Oh, then let me help you. The museum is on the exterior of the bag. The interior of the bag <coughs> is not the museum. Museum? Not museum. You've made your point. See that I have. Why were you casting the role of Plutus? I knew I hadn't made my point. <laughs> I don't recall Plutus ever being in the Persephone myth. Xenia had a sequence in mind where Demeter petitions all the gods. <laughs> Thanks, Alan. But it was too boring, too expensive, and did I mention too boring? Later. Goodbye. Oh, where am I going? All right, Charon. Oh, what's this? A thing. I have a money for you. Across the river sticks, look at the ghosty hands. Ooh. I love this game, it's so good. to block the dog from reaching the stars. I actually think I'm going to... Oh, this is your favorite Nancy Drew game? I did not know that. I think this is number four for me, if I remember correctly. It's either four or five, but it's pretty high up there. I think, though, I'm actually going to save it here. Oh, you did? How did you like it? Yeah, how did you like it? Um, I'm glad you you ha you liked it. Um, yeah, tell me. We can talk about it. But anyway, I think I'm going to finish it up here. Um, I have to go to work in a couple hours, and I think I'm going to have some lunch and stuff. You loved every bit. Oh, good. Um, I'm gonna have some legend stuff before I go, but other than that, I am done streaming. I've been going for two hours, so I'm gonna call it here. Um, I'll come back with some more, obviously, soon. Um, next few days. So just, uh, keep on the lookout. Other than that, though, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your Saturday and a great rest of your weekend. As always, much love from me to you. Thank you so much for being here and for all the support that you always give me. And I'll see you all very soon. I'll leave you with this music.